Welcome to the People with Parents podcast, where we talk about, laugh about, and figure out the role reversal and ever-changing relationship between adult children and their parents. And now please, welcome your host, stand-up comedian, author, keynote speaker, and daughter with a capital D, Leanne Lord. Okay, first of all, you're not supposed to learn everything from your parents. They can't possibly teach you all the things you need to know. There's just not enough time. They only have 18 years, at best, and most of us stop listening after the first 12. That said, my dad did a decent job. He was a man with a particular set of skills way before Liam Neeson. But a few things were missed. For years, I walked around shoving my feet in people's faces, asking them to please tie my shoes. When I was about five years old, I asked my brother to do it, and he looked at me with all the shock and indignation a 12-year-old could muster and said, Mommy and Daddy didn't teach you how to tie your shoes? I panicked. At that age, I thought they knew everything and had it all under control. My brother made it sound like my parents were not only negligent, but incompetent. I thought, if they missed this, what else were they not teaching me? I was right to be suspect. My dad taught my brother how to play chess, and he taught me how to play cards. By the time I was eight years old, I had my own set of poker chips. In college, my dad helped me design and run a campus-wide spades tournament. He never got around to teaching me bid whist, though. He said he would when I was old enough. In the last few years of his life, the running joke was, Dad, am I old enough to learn bid whist yet? And he'd say, Yes, but now I'm too old to remember how to play. I imagine that my dad thought it was important to have a special thing with each of his kids. But I really wish our thing had been chess. It teaches you how to strategize and think critically. I fancy that playing chess would have helped me be a better planner and make sounder long-term decisions. Heretofore, not my best thing. I don't even have my homeless old lady retirement shopping cart picked out yet. Back in the day... My dad was a pool player. What Brooklyn boy wasn't? When my parents bought their first house, my dad, against my mom's wishes, put a pool table in the basement. Oh, sure, the table fit, but he and his friends only had full range of motion to aim a shot on two sides. For that reason, and my mother's legendary side-eye of silence, the basement pool parlor thing didn't last long. And so, when I was invited on my first pool playing date, I asked my dad to teach me how to play. To my surprise, he said no. As open-minded as I knew my dad to be, he was terribly old-fashioned on this issue. He didn't think it was appropriate for a lady to play pool. I know. That's how it was in his day. And even though times had changed, he had not. It turns out, though, the few times I've played pool, I've never lost a game. At least no game I ever played on a first date. For a long time now, Sunday has been our recycling day. We set out bottles and plastics, papers and delivery boxes for the Monday morning collection. My dad always made the latter look easy. With an X-Acto knife and some twine, he'd wave his hands around and bippity-boppity-boo, everything was tied up nice and pretty for sanitation. When this became my job, I learned that one does not simply wrap any old piece of string a whole bunch of times around a pile of paper and cardboard. Well, you do if you want the pile to fall apart. Since I never learned my dad's twine trick, I used packing tape. Problem solved, until I ran out of tape. Here's the thing. I really can't blame my dad for not teaching me how to do this. I'm pretty sure he tried to, but he missed his window. I was over the age of 12, and in my youth-addled mind, I thought he'd always be around to do it. Chess life lesson? We always lose important pieces and people. So the next best thing to asking my dad was asking YouTube. I looked up how to tie up newspapers. The first few videos were about the artistry of the task and not actual instructions on how to do it. I found one video where a man said, so you make a bowline knot, without actually showing you how to make a bowline knot. What? He just did it and kept on talking and moving his hands around. More bippity boppity boo, assuming I already had that part down. Where's mansplaining when you actually need it? So, I refined my search. 
how to tie a bowline knot. I found a good one, and I'm not ashamed to say I have it bookmarked. I am embarrassed about all the packing tape I've been wasting. Who knew? Men. Men knew. Because all the videos I found on how to do this stuff were made by men. It's like I stumbled upon some manly man skill that's only passed down from father to son. Hell, I bet the sanitation guys who pick up my Monday recycling think I'm dating someone now because my papers are finally tied up right. It's also possible that my dad, having another old-fashioned moment, didn't teach me because he assumed some nice man would wander into my life, walk on the outside, open my door, offer to be my lifetime spades partner, and tie up my papers. See, heretofore, not my best thing. So, the point of all this reminiscing is that this is my first Father's Day without my dad. And I know his lessons to me weren't just about how to do specific tasks, but how to live, even when you may not like the hand you're dealt. I've since taught myself how to play chess, but I would have liked the opportunity to learn from and play the game with my dad. But I'm all right. I had the immense good fortune of being the daughter of a king who, with some love, patience, and bippity-boppity-boo, raised a queen. I miss you, Dad. Thanks for listening to People with Parents. Please share the podcast with your friends and family and leave a review on iTunes. People with Parents is lived, written, and produced by stand-up comedian, author, and keynote speaker, Leanne Lord. Visit her at veryfunnylady.com. And remember, we make them parents. They make us people. Crazy people.